need the music. Welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. We're going to sit down with you for a few seconds today and just point out a couple of, and give you a few tips that would make your stretching so much more comfortable. Josiane Hurd to my left, Tony Taylor to my right, my name is Banu Suresh and this program is called Yoga Express and we follow a very simple ailment specific stretch sequence called 48 plus. I've had a few people ask me why is it called 48 plus? Is that, does that have anything to do with your age? We're not here to discuss age at this point but this sequence is for everybody who feels like stretching every now and then and wants to feel good about it. And what is the plus for? Someone asked me that once and actually a couple of times I'd like to point out 48 plus is a sequence that actually starts with Hasta Uttana. The first posture is actually hands raised, but honestly, in all yoga postures, typically when we start standing up, we keep our palms together. So in prayer position is the 48, that's one of the pluses for 48 plus. And when we close the sequence, when we close the entire sequence, we close in what's called Shavasana. Shavasana is a cop's posture, which even though there is no movement, that also takes a lot of concentration. It's like a conscious, Conscious sleep, you actually lie down as if you're a corpse, but your brain, your mind is still wide awake. So your body is still while your mind is awake. And that's what yoga is all about, moving into stillness. We want to move our body so we can still the mind. And that is where meditation comes in. We're not gonna go into meditative practices right here, but what we want to point out to all our viewers out there, if you want to make up your own sequence with this 48 plus sequence, you want to make your own little series, you can actually do, pick out all the ones which require abdominal twists, you can pick out balancing postures, make your own little sequence of five to six postures every day. One day you want to work your midriff, you can pick all the twists in these postures. Another day, and we can actually walk you through and talk you through that in several other episodes. I just want to tell you that you can be very independent of our program also, some days you may not be able to catch our program, and you can form your own practice, and that's what it's all about. Our program is like any other prop. It's like a training wheel. You use us, you use our program to help you get started, and once you're started, you'll learn to work your own sequence together. Now, we can send you a postcard. We'll send you a copy of the book, Yoga Secrets. It has eight ailment-specific cards in it. We'll send you a fridge magnet, stick it on your fridge, no excuses, you can't get away, and a little card with the sequence on the back. Put that in your wallet. So you have all the support you need. You also have a website, www.yogaexpress.com. It's a content website, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S. -S. And we also have a blog that has weekly entries in it, which gives you an idea of the content of our discussions. And we usually, we have a discussion here in the studios, we take it home with us, we think about it, when we come back for the next episode to stretch with you, we try to put that into practice. Our discussions actually are used for the next episode. Now today, at Josiane's request and Tony's request, we are going to complete the hypertension series. We did a few standing stretches, but the way I want to point out something, after a few, uh, after the sun salutation, we're gonna do a couple of sun salutations. We are going to do a few seated, prone, and supine series that will help ease your mind of any stresses that you have and basically just calm your mind, calm your brain. And what we need to keep in mind is the body, there are only two common ailments that are responsible for all other ailments. One, 
affects the mind, which is hypertension, and the other impacts the body, which is constipation. They are the cause of almost all other common ailments. So if we can take care of our body and our mind at the same time through these stretches, we're assured of being very relaxed, very calm, and with an internal joy. So let's start with a very simple, complete ailment-specific sequence called the sun salutation. And before we do that, we're going to stand up, but before we do the sun salutation sequence, I just want you to know that our program, Yoga Express, airs on MNN weekdays, Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon on MNN 3, Time Warner 57, RCN 84, Fios 35. We are a very open program. Our studios are open. They're a little cold sometimes. Bring a jacket. Come stretch with us. Don't feel shy. Just come. We'll talk you through this guided stretching. Now, we're going to start with a sun salutation with our heels together, toes slightly apart. The first posture is not in our sequence. Like I said, that's part of the 48 plus. Pranamasana, heels together, toes slightly apart. Let's stagger ourselves. Why don't you come forward just a little bit, Josiane, and I'll go back. Pranamasana is prayer posture. Keep our palms in front of our chest. Elbows are out <clears throat> in the sun salutation. I could say a little chant. Now, both of you, our, our two participants over here, Josiane and Tony, you don't have to say the chant, neither does our audience. If you have a little prayer at home, like our Father who art in heaven, the idea of this chant at this point is to just help the count, countdown. So instead of saying Pranamasana and then nine, eight, seven, six, we want to make it a little more interesting. So we'd say Pranamasana is the posture. This is the posture. Now I'd say a little chant, Om Pram. Mitraya Namaha. It simply means salutations to the friend of all. This is an invocation to the sun. Now, then we take our arms up overhead. Om Him. Ravaya Namaha. Salutations to the shining one. And then make sure you tighten your pelvic muscle, tighten your core muscles. Inhale as you go up. Fold from the hip and exhale. Om Hrum. Come down all the way. Om Hrum. Suryaya Namaha. Om Hroom Surya and Namaha, salutations to he who induces activity. Hands to toes. And this one is called Pada Hasta, as you already know. Now we're going to use a little cheat sheet. Stay there, feel the wonderful sciatic stretch while I turn my cheat sheet. We're going to go, I'm going to come forward this time. I've got to take my left leg back. Now place your palms on the floor a little bit ahead of your feet. Om Hrim, take your left leg back. Your right leg can wiggle itself forward. Dip your hip. Dip the pelvic region. Om Hrim. This is Ashwa Sanchala Asana. Om Hrim Bhanave Namaha means salutation to he who illuminates. This time we're going to take our right leg back. Om Hrom. Khagaya Namaha. This one is Dandasan. Dandasan is plank posture. I'm going to hold that. Om Hrom Khagaya Namaha. Salutations to he who moves through the sky. Knees, chest, and chin, and we're going to glide. These are two postures combined in one. So let's wait for a second while I explain. We're going to go into what's called Ashtanga Namaskara, the eight-limb posture. And I will chant Om Raha Pushna Namaha, salutations to the giver of strength and nourishment. As we go into Ashtanga Namaskara, we're going to come down. We're basically going to glide our chest and then glide our chest out. It's going to go down and out like a wave motion, come up in cobra position. So let's do that. We exhale as we go down. Om Hrum. Let me go. Om Raha Pushna Namaha. Exhale. Bring our chest down. Inhale. Glide. Bring your chest up into cobra position. Om Hrum. Now we're in cobra position. So I would chant. Go back to the first chant. Om Hrum. Hiranya Garbhaya Namaha. Salutations to the golden cosmic self. Now, we're going to go into Parvat or Mountain. Curl your toes in. Inhale. Bring a butt off the ground. Let's go in an inverted V. Om Hrim. Mari Chinamaha. This is Parvatasan. Is mountain posture. Parvat is mountain. Mari Chia. Mari Chasan. No, um, one moment. Om Hrim. Mari Chinamaha. Salutations to the rays of the sun. Mari Chi is rays. Now, let's bring... Our right foot forward, Om Hroom, Adityaya Namaha, Ashwa Sanchalasan, equestrian posture. 
Now, if you want, you can place your left knee on the floor. Om Hroom Aditya Namaha. Salutations to son of Aditi, Cosmic Mother. The reason for these chants is to just give ourselves those 10 seconds countdown. Now, we're going to bring our left foot forward. Om Hrim Savitri Namaha Pada Hastasan. Hold. Hold your posture, not your breath. Om Hrim Savitri Namaha. Salutations to life stimulating power. Inhale. Hasta Uttanasan. Om Hrim Urkaya Namaha. Salutations to he who is fit to be praised. Om Raha. Bhaskaraya Namaha. In Pranamasan. Salutations to he who leads to enlightenment. I have a little trick and we're going to do the other leg now with the same chants. This time we're going to chant in our mind. Now, we're going to do it in tandem. We're going to look at each other and we're going to follow. This time maybe both of you want to stagger so you can follow as I'm doing because as I'm chanting, you can keep a mental counter. There's a little trick to keeping timing on your postures. As I mentioned earlier, you could say a little prayer of your own. The other thing I do to help me concentrate is to think of one person for each of these postures, one person that moves you, one person that means something to you for each of these. So we have eight postures and then there's a repeat, but it's totally 12 stretches. So I think of 12 people. What the order of those people's faces are is up to you. So let's try that one more time. This time we're gonna take our left, right leg back. First we took our left leg back, so we're gonna go through the entire stretch. This time we'll go a little faster. The whole sun salutation sequence literally should take you 60 seconds. So if you can do three sequences, you are already talking of, of targeting eight common ailments in under two to three minutes. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are up. When your elbows are up this way, your mind is alert and you feel a nice, wonderful, compact pressure right in front of your chest. Inhale. Bring your arms up overhead. Say your little silent chant. Exhale. First one was pranam, then we inhale, that was hasta uttana, then pada hasta, exhale, hands to feet, pada hasta. This time we take our right leg back. Inhale, bring your chest out. Ashwa Sanchala. We take our left leg back in plank position. Danda Asan. Ashwa Sanchala was a question. This is Danda. Keep your butt down. And this time, knees, chest, and chin to the ground, and we glide out into Cobra. Exhale as you glide down. Inhale as you come up. Come up into Cobra. Glide up. Very nice. Keep your elbows bent and close to your body. Now, we're going to exhale. As we take our butt off the ground and then inhale, curl your toes in. Take your butt off, curl your toes in. Inhale, bring your butt in a mountain position, Parvatasana. This time we're going to bring our right leg between the hands, Ashwa Sanchala. Say your little silent prayer or chant or whatever you want. Time yourself to hold that. <coughs> Om Hrum Aditya Namaha Nam. Om Hrim. Savitre Namaha. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Om Hram. Urkaya Namaha. I was supposed to chant silently, right? I couldn't help myself. Exhale, bring your palms in front of your chest. This one is a Pranamasan. When we went up, it was again Hasta Uttana. Let's sit down. I just want to point out a couple of things in the sun salutation sequence and why it's a perfect, perfect sequence for all the common ailments. I'm not saying you're gonna get cured tomorrow. <laughs> all I'm saying is this is a wonderful compact sequence of eight postures and a repeat of the last four as we go into the 12 stretches. The first one, for example, you have your palms in front of you and we have a little chant. We're not gonna talk about the chant right now. This is Pranamasan. It helps you stay still. Our feet are together, hands in front of our chest, and you can keep your eyes closed just a little bit. There's no movement. You're just staying still. It helps us stay still. Great for hypertension. If you have a hypertension problem, just consider staying still. And it's very hard to still the mind. It's easy mm. to keep the body still, but hard to still the mind. So we're going to get to the mind, spirit, wherever else we need to go through the body. We're taking you from step one. 
You don't need to jump to step five just yet. When you take your arms overhead, hasta uttana, you're expanding your chest. So it's great for asthma. You're expanding your chest. You're improving lung capacity. It's, yoga is very, very logical. It's based on common sense. All you do is just think of which part of the body is impacted the most. There are lots of postures which are good for more than one ailment. We go, to, we go down all the way, we fold over, hands to feet, Pada Hasta is great for constipation because the lower abdomen presses against the upper thigh. After we give you this explanation, we're gonna do one sequence. Just follow us as we stretch into the full sequence and see if you can time us. Ashwa Sanchala is the next one where you bring one leg forward and it's great for arthritis because you're bending the knee. You also feel a wonderful pressure in the lower abdomen. And then you take both the legs back. Dandasana is great for piles because you're keeping your legs together, tightening the anal sphincters and keeping your back nice and straight. Ashtanga Namaskara is great for diabetes because your body, your eight limbs are touching the ground, your hip is off the floor, so your liver and your pancreas are getting nice and loose and activated. This is your rest time. I'm giving you that because now we're going to go into the full stretch. <laughs> Bhujangasana, the cobra posture, as we come up, we tighten our low back muscles, great for lumbago. And Parvat, the mountain posture, sciatica, is great for sciatica. You would have felt the sciatic nerve stretch nicely in the mountain posture. And then the last four are repeated. We go back into Ashwa Sanchala. Actually, let me take you. We will be going through Ashwa Sanchala, Pada, Hasta, Hasta, Uttana, Pranam. So we repeat. It's one through eight, and then it's repeated. Eight, seven, five, four. So let's try that one time. This time we're going to go through the entire sun salutation sequence. We're going to follow each other. And we're just going to take it step by step. You know what each of the, what each of the postures represent. You also know what they're good for. So I'm going to go forward this time. Maybe you want to stagger back just a little bit. OK, heels together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of our chest, elbows nice and up. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, hands to feet. Place your palms on the floor, left leg goes back. Curl your toes in, bring your chest out. Press with your palms, right leg goes back, plank position. Knees, chest and chin to the ground, exhale. Inhale and glide out of that position in cobra. Ashtanga Namaskara and cobra together. Inhale, come up. Curl your toes in, come out in mountain position. Bring your left leg back in between your hands. We took the left leg back the first time, we're bringing the same leg back forward. Well, did I say back forward? We're bringing the same leg back to the front. Bring your right leg forward. Padahasta, inhale, arms overhead, exhale. Namaskar asana in front of your chest and don't stop there. The temptation is to stop and then go do something else. No, you have the other side to take care of. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, take your right leg back. Curl your toes in, dip your hip, chin up. Take your left leg back, plank position. Knees, chest, and chin. Exhale. Keep inhaling and come up in cobra. Glide your upper body. Curl your toes in, come up in mountain position. Inhale. Bring your right leg forward this time. Dip your hip. Your knees should be nice and Flexible by now, nice and supple. Bring your left leg forward. Inhale, bring your arms up, overhead. Exhale. And relax, namaskaras. And let's release that. Tell me honestly, is the studio too cold for you now? Are no, you feeling warm? No, it's much, <laughs> it's good. much better. See, our it's engine warmer. is already starting. Yeah, tell us. It's very warm inside. It is, right. So and my pain is almost the gone. Pain is, oh, wow, that is so good to hear. 
the studios did feel very cool because they have so much equipment here. When we come in, when we start, especially the sun salutation series, you do feel, oh my God, it's so cold, am I going to be able to stretch? But once you finish the cycle, we have already used up so many calories. Oh, yeah. You know, if someone wants to lose weight, I think they just have to do the sun salutation 108 times, and there you go. But yoga is not about weight loss. It's about feeling good. It's not about losing weight, lo looking fantastic. When we feel good, we look good mm -hmm. automatically. Let's now, I'm going to go take us through the hypertension sequence. We already did part of it a few sequences ago, a few episodes ago. But at the request of Josiane and Tony, and I need it too, I'm sure, we all have stresses in our lives. So we're going to go through a few postures. How are we doing for time, Danny? OK, I think we might have five minutes. Seven minutes. Thank you. OK, let's sit on our knees. Now, are you OK to sit uh, on your knees this no. way? No, no, let's do a few other. That's perfectly all right. Let's do the cat. You're OK with the cat? Yes. All right. Let's come on our hands and knees. <clears throat> Curl your toes in. Remember, this is a hypertension sequence, so you want to be sure that whatever you do, it's a slow, deliberate movement. And the cat posture has a wonderful undulating motion, so it's like a wave. So think of your body going in and out like a wave. Curl your toes in, inhale, dip, dip your torso, and inhale, bring your chin up. Exhale, arch your back, uncurl your toes. We have another six minutes left, so we can keep going. Curl your toes in. Let's go one more time. Exhale. Arch your back. Release. Uncurl your toes. Let's do another one now. Josiane is still hurting from her knee. She's hurt her knee earlier, and she's still hurting in that right knee. Was it right knee? Right knee. Right knee. So we will not do any knee bends, because I want her to be included in this. Let's extend our legs in front of us. The forward, Stick it the forward out. bend is fine. It's the backward. It's the back bend. So sitting on your knees and, yeah, that's yeah. fine. I totally understand. Let's be sensitive to that. Are you okay to stretch? Because oh, yes, yes. You're I all do. right? You probably will feel good relief for the sciatic. And I also, although I look so awful when I'm No, you look I beautiful. try to do the best. You, that's that's you the know, right attitude, Tony. The idea, <laughs> folks at home, that's a very good attitude. The idea is both, I have two very intelligent folks uh, on either side. I always have really wonderful, wonderful participants. What Tony just said, would you mind saying one more time? Basically, is that I'm not able to do all the positions oh. as graciously as they do it. No, no, no. <laughs> but I do it the best I can. That is the operative phrase. The point is, you do the best you can on any given day, and that's very important. Today, my posture, I may, be, I may go into very deep into a certain posture. I may not be able to do a balanced posture, but I may be able to do a forward bend tomorrow. I may be you know, terrible at forward bend. So it depends. Each day is different for each one of us. And for each one of us, we are only competing with ourselves. So that's fine. Let's extend our legs today. And I'm glad you felt that. And Josie and you too, you were listening to your knee. Because your knee told you don't go in a, you know, don't Backwards. do a posture which will bend your knee back. So let's do that. Let's extend our right leg. Keep your leg, left leg bent. The left knee comes down. And if you want to feel a deeper stretch on the left knee, Tony, maybe mm -hmm. you want to just sit on this brick. It'll be less painful, and you'll feel a wonderful sciatic stretch at the same time. Now make sure your left knee, or if you can, make sure that your left knee and your right leg are in a kind of an L shape. We're going to torque our body a little bit to the right. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead. I'm going to stagger back so Tony doesn't beat me up. Exhale, fold forward from the hip. Clasp your right leg. Now, this is Janu Sirsha's head to knee. Feel free if you're able to touch your head to your knee. This is about staying calm. So in these postures, it's OK to adapt. We're not going into the sciatic sequence. If you want to bend your knee to get your head to your knee, that's fine. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, release the arms. Let's switch legs. Take the right leg in and your right knee is at an L. Your right leg and the left leg are at an L. So you've got your left leg extended, foot is flexed, torque your body a little bit to the left to face your right leg. Inhale, bring your arms up, overhead. Exhale, fold from the hip. Remember, this, this particular 
episode is about hypertension, the sun salutation sequence of the first half. This last bit is about hypertension and how to prevent that. All you do is stay focused, stay calm, and just do very slow, deliberate motions. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, release the other leg. Let's extend both our legs in front of us. Flex your feet. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, fold from the hip. Now, wherever you are, make the connection, just the way Tony is doing and just the way josian has got her feet all the way. Tony's got her his hands very close to his ankles. That's fine. Let's relax. Inhale. Let's come up. Exhale and release. Now, bring. we have a couple of minutes left. We're going to go into a couple of postures in those two minutes. This is Baddha Kona, Kabla posture. Your soles are together. Hands are clasped tightly over your soles, over your feet. And this time, we're going to re try to get our knees down as much as possible on the side. Now, if you want to sit on a block, it makes it a little, you're doing fine. <laughs> I was just pointing out. <laughs> just hold, close your eyes. Just hold still. This is about relaxing, de-stressing, so all you need to do is just stay still. It's not easy to stay still, trust me. Release. Extend your legs all the way out in front of you. We're going to do one posture going sideways. Supta Namaskara, good for the obliques, but also helps if you can touch your forehead to the ground. That's fine. If you cannot, that's okay. The idea is to go through the motions. Keep your feet flexed. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Place both your palms to your left. Exhale. Remember, your movements have to be slow and deliberate. Inhale, let's come up. And I don't want to deprive you of the joy of getting into some supine posture. So let's go on our back so we can go into a posture called Happy Baby. Happy baby, I think Tony, you have done this with us before. Yes. Isn't it good? Isn't it good? Yes. It's really wonderful. Happy baby and then pindas. And happy baby is Bala Gopala. Pinda is fetus. Now, all we're gonna do is bend our legs at the knees, bring your heels close to you, as close as you can reach, and then take your feet up, clasp the inside of your soles with your hands, right hand.